What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Kel. I'm back at y'all with another video. Hey, I know it's been a minute, and I know I begin every video off like this, but this time, this time is different. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna get on this grind for real. You know what I'm saying? I've been on my grind on my other social medias lately, and y'all probably ain't been tuned into that. My social media is gonna be right here at the bottom, and you can't miss it. You did, but yeah, I've been slacking bad. But today, you know what I'm saying? First video came to mind that I said I was gonna do a while back in the past. A shoe collection video. It it's alright. I mean, I I I wear my shoes. Like, I wear my shoes, like for real. Like, no matter price, I wear my shoes. I tend to I tend to beat a lot of shoes, as most people would say. I tend to overuse a lot of shoes. I'ma get into this collection, you know what I'm saying? Bear with me. The good shoes are good, but I'm not gonna show my Beatles, you know what I'm saying? I'll, I'm not gonna show them, but I'll honorable mention, you know what I'm saying? I'll throw a little screenshot of what they used to look like up in there for y'all. Without further ado, let's gonna get into it. You did for my first shoe, you know what I'm saying? We got some off-white dunks, you dig what I'm saying? I can't remember what these are called, but, you know what I'm saying, you know, I wear my shoes, you dig what I'm saying? My brother also wears these. Just to put it out there, but hey, comfortable shoe, ten out of ten would recommend. Only thing I don't recommend doing in these is hooping. Don't hoop in these; they're not meant for that. But you know what I'm saying I bought that shoe. I bought that shoe maybe a couple, a couple months, a year ago. I think it was a year ago. I bought that shoe like a year ago. Hey, my my, my boy KJ, you know what I'm saying he had the shoe first, aka twin, aka Cannon two times. You know what I'm saying? He had the shoe first, and. It just looked good. I just thought it would look better on my foot. No cap, you know what I'm saying? I throw up a picture of me and those, you know what I'm saying? Ha, somewhere up there. I ain't good without the editing. And for our next shoe, you know what I'm saying? We got a pair of Como de Garcons All-Stars. You dig what I'm saying? These right here, they were good when they were in my hands. I can't lie. My brother also wears these. He's, as you can see, LeBron World on shoes, you know what I'm saying? But, hey. Good shoe, you know what I'm saying? I don't give these a 10 out of 10, though. I give these like an 8 out of 10. After a while, after a while of walking in them, you just get tired of walking in them. No cap. I bought them maybe a year and a half ago. This next shoe is a classic. Not many people got them, and they don't really sell them no more. You know what I'm saying? And your boy got his hands on some. You know I'm saying? It's a pair of Revenge X Storms. You dig what I'm saying? Tough shoe though, tough shoe. Mine's a little dirty, cause like I said, I wear my shoes. But all they need is just a little rub down. Know what I'm saying I ain't got no cleaner no more, so I can't really clean them like I want to, cause I don't want to clean them the old school way, and then it mess up the suede, and I ain't got no time for all that. But these right here, I really like this shoe, but they a little too small now. So now I'm saying we might have a giveaway on these bad boys. Now I'm saying hey. Once we hit 5K, my you know saying, we might give away these bad boys right here. Quote me on it. You know what I'm saying? Remind me. Because I know we're going to do it. Speak it into existence. As they say, manifest. You need <laughs> Our next shoe we got here. My shoes are dirty. That's because the dust from my ceiling fan. They're not dirty for me wearing. they kind of sort of. But we got a pair of off-white ball cans. Low red. I don't know the true name, but you know what I'm saying? Still in good condition. You dig what I'm saying? I really like this shoe, but I stopped wearing it because I only had one fit with it. And you know, after a while, you keep wearing the same fit. It's just like, ugh. And I couldn't find no more white and red to go with them, so I just set them up. And they just waiting for another fit to be brought out with them, you know what I'm saying? I put up a picture of me in these. Every shoe I got a picture in, I put a picture up of it. But these right here, I really like this shoe. I bought these because Ian had them and KJ. Y'all gonna know, y'all gonna know me. I buy shoes because my homeboys got them. I can't lie. But you know, you don't want to be left out. You know what I'm saying? And you know, when you with your group, y'all all throw y'all's on. You know what I'm saying? It just, it just feel good. Like I don't know, I don't know how to describe, but I just like it. But these, I like these though. I would not give these a ten out of ten. You do not walk in these. These are not walking shoes. I don't know what type of shoe to describe this as, but they are not, they are not walking shoes. No cap. 
We got a pair of patent bread ones. You dig what I'm saying? Just just drop. I had mine before they released, but I ain't wear them because I ain't have a fit with them yet. But I do have a fit with these. I have yet to put it on. You know what I'm saying? It involves some stacked cargos. You dig? Hey, that's all I'm going to say. Just prepare for the fit. It's going to be on my ground. You dig? Insta going to be down there also. But you know what I'm saying? I think my brother, yeah, my brother, he don't wore these. That's about it. A lot of my shoes I buy, I just buy because I like them. And then my brother will put them on because he's still in school. He can. I work every day. I ain't got no time to be getting clean and throwing on fits and I go to work every day. What I'm going to wear them to? Walmart? Like, come on, bro. But yeah, patent red ones. I like them. I like ones. Only reason I bought these, though, because I couldn't get the fearless ones or... The top threes. I couldn't get neither one of those. The Fearless was just like these, except they were light blue, red, and white. I was not able to get those. And then the top threes were just white, black, red, and blue. I wasn't able to get those neither. So these are my first pair of ones that I bought myself. Every shoe in here I bought myself. You know what I'm saying? And it just feel better when you do it on your own. I can't lie to you. I, I don't know what everybody else say, but like, it feel good when you do it on your own. But it also feel good when it's given to you. No cap, I can't lie. But that's this shoe. Nothing major, some light, little heat. You did. If you have been following me, if you have been following me, you have seen this shoe worn bountiful of times. You say that word bountiful? Big no cap. You did. <laughs> but nah, we got the Triple S Balenciagas. I can't remember what these are called. They like some some type of gray. But they're not solid black. they like smoke gray. But you know what I'm saying? These right here, it's a story behind these shoes right here. It's a story behind every shoe, but this shoe in particular, it's a story behind these. You know what I'm saying? I bought this shoe. My, I, went, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say my first job, because my first job, I quit in like two hours. But no, nah, my very first real working job, I saved up my first two checks and I bought this shoe. I don't recommend y'all doing that because that's not smart. I was just in love with this shoe. I was the only one that knew about this shoe. I was the first one to have this shoe in my city, I believe. Unless somebody else, somebody else could have it, but around my group of people, I was the first one. You know what I'm saying? And they were just, it was just a way, it was just a, a good purchase in my opinion. I like triple S's. I was in like, I first learned about Balenciaga's in like high school. But I ain't had the money for them. And I would have never thought I one day I'd be wearing Balenciaga's. Like, no cap. Them shoes were six, seven, eight thousand dollars. Like, I never thought I'd be in a pair. But to gladly say that I bought my own pair, it just, you know what I'm saying? It just brings tears to my eyes. You know? It don't really, but it just feels good. I remember way back in the day, I then couldn't afford no Balenciaga's. Couldn't even afford no J. No, I'm playing. Hey. Let me know if I should drop a song. Okay, they talking about dropping a song. We're going to drop a song. Like, well, but not saying the next shoe we got. I don't know what these Yeezys are called. I ain't going to lie to you. I bought them because I like the color. I don't got a white, uh, 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 white slash cream. I call it scream. I don't got to shoe this color, basically. That's what I'm saying. But I really like this shoe, though. It's comfortable. People who hate on Yeezys. You could call them hype. You call you call us hype beasts, but like this is a comfortable shoe. Like I can't lie to you, this, this shoe right here is a very comfortable shoe. Look at that, a very comfortable shoe. I'll be lying if I said it wasn't. Like anybody who got a pair, you know these are actually comfortable. Cause I don't wear this shoe. I wear this shoe a lot. I haven't got a picture in it yet. I should have took one, but I just I don't know. I just like this shoe. I don't know what they're called. Yeah. And then the last shoe of this collection, we got my one and only, my pair of low top Dior's. This shoe right here, I bought this shoe with my first TikTok check. Well, my first big TikTok check. Was it a smart decision? Probably not. This was, if you know this shoe, you know how much this shoe got. It probably was not a smart decision. But when you got it, you do it because you know you can. Wise words from me. Because honestly, it was so many other things I could have bought. I could have bought three other shoes, four other shoes with uh, the amount of money I paid for this one shoe. But 
I got a fit in this shoe. I like I like this shoe a lot. I got two fits in these shoes. Okay, got two. But they're actually comfortable. I can act, you can actually walk in these. Like they don't really hurt your feet like that. These feel better than the off white. The Volcans or the um, Comme des Garcons. They feel well. CDGs. They feel way better than those two. As you can see, I wear this shoe a lot from the bottom. I I wear this. I wear this shoe. For the amount I pay for it, I'm gonna wear it. <laughs> I can't be like everybody else and just buy shoes and don't put them on. Who does that? Who buys? I don't want no collectible item shoe. I got some beaters up there, like four or five other beaters. Um, I had some Wave Runners and the Orange Sun, the orange version of the Wave Runners. I had both of those. I beat them. Uh, and these right here, these are my Yeezy slides. I wear these every day, as you can see. They dirty. I just need to put a wet towel on them. We Gucci, you know what I'm saying? But I wear them every day. I almost forgot. I haven't even, I bought this shoe, I haven't even took it out the box yet. Y'all read the title on the box though. Beat McQueen, beat Alexander McQueen, you did, you know what I'm saying? I haven't even put this shoe on yet though, but we got a pair of Alexander McQueen, you did. The white with the paddle leather on the back, you know what I'm saying? Not that, not that cheap stuff. The good high quality. I have not put this shoe on. It still got everything on the inside. I don't got nothing to go with it. I'm a firm believer in buy the shoe first and find a fit later. So that shoe right there. I bought that shoe. I was why did I buy this shoe? I was in my feelings, you guys. I know, strange. Kelvin in his feelings. I was in my feelings, and the way I cope with my feelings is by spending money. If I ain't got my peoples around. Like my friends and family, but I spend money when I'm feeling down because I feel like that's going to cheer me up. And it is. I was live that whole day. If you want to see more of the behind the behind the scenes life of Kelvin, the socials are right here at the bottom. You know what I'm saying? I was live that day. I really had a bunch of fun that day. I bought them. I bought, the, I bought them and the, the Yeezys I had, they came in like, the next day, so I had both of them at the same time. I was live. I'm that's just the beginning of 2022. By the end of 2022, nah, by the end of 2022, our sneaker collection is gonna be massive because I ain't got nothing to spend my money on for real. I mean, I could save, but you could be gone tomorrow and all that money you saved, you couldn't have did nothing with it. So, I, I'm a firm believer in have fun with your money, but you know what I'm saying? Don't take my advice. This is not financial advice. This is just me telling y'all about me. But yeah, that's the end of the sneaker collection video. Now I'm saying if you fuck with the shoes, leave a like, leave a comment. If you got a pair of the shoes, comment down below. But now I'm saying, it's your boy Kel. Tune in for another vid. And we out. Gang.